Good afternoon, I'm Scott Thompson. Here are your trending stories in green country. Court documents say a 29-year-old teacher at Bixby High School is accused of having a relationship with an 18-year-old student. Documents say Bixby police were notified of the situation in early January after a witness said the teacher, Jill Arthur, had gone to the movies with the student and the two kissed afterwards. The student said nothing else happened between them, but prosecutors are seeking a sexual battery charge now against Arthur. The federal SNAP benefits program is getting back to normal. Everyone received March benefits today after delays because of the government shutdown earlier in the year. Normally, the benefits are staggered through each month, arriving on the 1st, 5th, and 10th. But after the shutdown, February benefits were issued early and recipients have had to make them stretch until today. Backlash continues as the nation's largest employer eliminates a long-standing tradition, Walmart greeters. Walmart's changing the name of their door greeters to customer hosts and adding qualifications like lifting a 25-pound box and climbing ladders, but critics say those requirements are pushing out the elderly and the disabled workers. Walmart initially gave greeters 60 days to transition into other roles, but after backlash, they've extended that deadline for greeters with disabilities. Students from 56 local schools are set to compete on the Scripps Green Country Regional Spelling Bee tomorrow. It's at the Tulsa Tech Center in Owasso. It starts at 10 in the morning. It's free, and we invite you to come out and join us. We'll also stream the competition live on KJRH.com. It is shaping up to be a chilly night. Make sure you bundle up for this Friday evening. Temperatures are generally going to be into the middle 30s for us. Wake up weather for our Saturday. 20s and 30s as we head throughout the day. Plenty of clouds. Could even be just a few stray showers in southeast Oklahoma. But we will see big changes overnight. Saturday into Sunday morning. Sleet and snow will be possible with some accumulations north of I-44. Right now maybe close to an inch in the Tulsa Metro, Bartlesville, Coffeyville. Anywhere from two to three inches of snow. 10 day forecast much colder for the end of the weekend. Nine Monday morning, 23 Monday afternoon. Grads will warm up by the end of next week with temperatures in the 50s. Be sure to join us at 5 and 6 for your evening news and our next update here at 630.